thank you very much uh, for the introduction. Um, so I will give a small uh, talk of uh, you know few four, few slides, four to five slides on how to collate the references, how to use the citation manager, uh, and then I will also give a live demo of the uh, how 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 actually it is done. All right. So the first part of this presentation is going to be like how to use the citation manager. Now the important thing is when when you go for um, this. Uh, Articles you have to read when you want to write an article. You have to read the author's instruction uh, first, and um, because the reference style is important, and each journal has got a uniform reference style. So for the most commonest style is a Vancouver style. Uh, there is also an APA style, and then each journal has got a slight, slight difference. The, the way the bibliography is written is the something. Then the way the citation citation is where you insert your uh, reference in the article. So that is uh, how we start. Yeah. So how to, uh, some some citation style uh, has like uh, how to use a square bracket. Um, so that that is uh, where some some journals want it to be inserted in the form of a cited in the form of a square bracket. Some uh, wanted to have it in the form of a superscript, so, uh, and then some have to have a superscript with the square bracket. So those things are all. Uh, say for example, Journal of Urology. So they have given a clear instructions. Index citation should have a uh, one reference means like this, one two is like this, and one to four is like this. That is for citation. Then uh, writing uh, how to write the bibliography. They have given clearly like two authors means you have to write like this. Three authors means means A B and C. More than three authors means A B C followed by a tab. So like that how they want. So each journal has got a uniform reference style. And then, uh, as you know, that the, the the name of the author's uh, surname followed by the capital initials. Then the, you have this uh, the title of the paper, then the uh, article year. That is how it goes. Um, so, on the other hand, when you send a paper to this Journal of Urology and it gets uh, rejected, and then you want to send it again to Journal of Urology, Pediatric Urology. So what happens is the entire thing has to be either rewritten. Uh, or you have to type everything again. That's really cumbersome. So they, these people want it as a square bracket. Whereas while Journal of Urology wanted it as a superscript, they want the site, the article, as a square bracket, and they have a different way of expressing this uh, publication. In addition to this uh, year and uh, day, uh, volume and uh, pages, they also want the article number. They also want the DOI number. So this is a slightly different way of uh, public uh, way of how they want it. So now when we go to what is a citation, we all know that what is a citation is. Citation is something, a method to identify the source and acknowledge the author. And um, we all know that this is how the citation used to be. Uh, the name of the author followed by the title of the paper. And then nowadays, after that, the year comes, then the volume, uh, then the subsection, then the pages. That is how it comes. Now the citation management tool, what happens is they are a set of programs uh, which basically they collect the references for you and then they help you to get organized. They prevent transcription or typographical errors. As Dr. Ramesh said at the beginning, you know, we used to have this, uh, we used to sit and type all these things in the library. I remember, you know, going to a library, giving the, the, the librarian that the name of the article, the pages, everything. And then he'll say that that particular page number is missing. That is wrong, what you have written, all those things. Um, so we are now in a golden era. We have got the articles available online. We are also able to download the references online. Um, so the citation managers can be web-based tool uh, where the entire thing is happening on a cloud or a browser-based tools uh, where uh, it is functional only when you're online. Then hybrid tools where, you know, you can use Use a web based as well as a computer based. So, the commonest citation managers are Zotero, EndNote, and Mendeley. And uh, I have been trained to use Mendeley. So, that is what I am going to show today and then tell. So, the citation manager Mendeley kind of organizes your articles uh, or the references like this. And that is the icon of the Mendeley. Mendeley is available for uh, desktop as well as for mobile. Uh, and then you also need to have what is called a Microsoft Word Mendeley plugin. So that plugin connects both Mendeley and the Microsoft Word. So what you need to do, you need to go to the Mendeley web page 
and then uh, create an account obviously so you have that, that is how they identify you so you put your email id and put your surname so the password everything and then you download the mendeley desktop for windows so i mean that is also there for ios separately as you can use a mac version if you have a mac and um, linux all those things are there then you also have to uh, download the citation plugin so that is the plugin for word uh, you also have a web importer that is also there but you you really don't need it you can actually do it manually but citation plugin is important so you need a mendeley and then word plugin so both you have to download now before i go to the actual demo i want you to know a couple of things uh, article identification has got to do i mean two uh, different reference uh, types one is a pmid which is a PubMed identification number so this is usually this four digit number which each article has got any article published in PubMed will have this ID uh, and this is this goes back to quite a few years so this PMID is also you know there for old articles also uh, maybe in 1980s 1970s they may not have uh, then DOI is a relatively new one this is a digital object identifier uh, it's a string of numbers or letters and symbols to permanently identify an article or document on the web so this is how the DOI is written uh, and then if you click on that link it will take you to the article directly on the journal website it won't give you the full text but at least it will give you the links uh, and uh, this particular uh, from 10 onwards is also enough you don't have to type all these things if you just type these things uh, copy and paste you will be able to get them so there are three ways to import the citation one is to use the pmid which i told you is a pubmed identification number then you can use a doi which is a digital object identifier then you can also use what is called a bib text file so there are three ways to import uh, these articles so what i will do is now i will um, give a live demo of how this is done uh, so um, i have already downloaded the mendeley so what i will do is i will go and then show you how to you uh, know download this uh, 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 i have got the mendeley desktop here uh, and I also uh, I also have the word plugin installed. So when I open the Mendeley, you will see that it gives a lot of articles and lists uh, in the. So that is the icon for Mendeley. Uh, and then I have the same thing on my uh, mobile also. So this is the uh, Mendeley. I'll expand it. So this is how the articles, all the articles are there. All the articles are there. Uh, I also have an option to import my publications. So, so these are all my publications, which I, I mean, I can save my own data also. I can also create a little, little folder. So these are all the person for various uh, things. So recently, these are all recent papers. So we have uh, created uh, folders for creating uh, a particular citation. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to create a folder. Okay, uh, so I'll create a folder. Uh, I mean, this is going to be. I, I told you the like. Uh, I told you we were going to start this study on Mira background. So I am going to create a folder called Mira background. So this is a folder called Mira background, and that folder is empty. I don't have anything in it. Now I'll minimize this. Now uh, what uh, what we have uh, what our postgraduate student has done is him he has a uh, um, started collecting this uh, data uh, so he, well, the first thing when you do a research is, is to look for the uh, similar articles so he found uh, around uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine nine articles he has found by searching the internet and then what i have done is i have selected around some four or five articles from it so i've selected these articles and these are the articles from those articles what i have done is i have selected a few articles to be inserted and imported into the mendeley and he has also written a, a small abstract for presenting in a conference um, and then here we are going to use it as a template how we introduce the uh, how we how, this is completely new one so no citations no references are there so i will show you how to import these articles okay so now <coughs> this particular article now this is uh, now let me say we, uh, the reason how I, why I have written these names is it is important to remember the first author's name. That is the way to 
um, way to remember how to import it. So now I will tell you how to import this. This particular article is by Kelsey. Okay. So I'm going to copy this and then go to Mendeley. So in Mendeley, we have we are already in the mirror background folder. So I'm going to go there and go add entry manually. So I'm connected to the internet, I, I hope. So uh, I scrolled down here. I mean, I have not written typed anything. I mean, you can actually manually do, type it also everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the DOI information here. And then it's retrieving. See, it has got all the articles. Mirror background for Pediatric OAV. So that article has come. So I've saved. So that article is by Rebecca Kelsey. That article has come there. All right. So now let us see whether we can import. I just want to import a four five articles. Now let us see whether I can import this article using a PMID. So this is an article uh, by a person called Ritig. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go add entry manually, then go scroll down further. Where the PMID is there, I will copy this. Now let us see whether I'm able to retrieve it if it is uh, some the prop the sometimes the pmid doesn't work sometimes it works in this case it worked so i've got this thing but when the pmid doesn't work the doi almost always works hang on this is place only okay so that is the article the surname is blaze it's got triple barrel name um, but dual therapy for refractory over bladder in children so that is the study so we have to sometimes check all these things now So that is this article maybe then i didn't get this see this is why i'm telling that we have to remember which one has come so, so we have to add entry manually now i've got a doi i'm going to download four or five articles because i want to uh, see how they appear so who is this article from this is Ritig. so what i what i was wanting earlier is this one okay so this has come in some different order that's fine uh, so that is one then i already have uh, i have healthy uh, blaze Ritig. i need sager so um, now um, i told you i can also import it in a different way so i will show you that also uh, see this uh, uh, doi as i said let me see whether this works so I just go and then copy the DOI and enter. So that article has come as number one here. So that has come as, uh, the, the, the DOI directly takes to the article. Okay. Uh, so the efficacy and safety of mirror background is here. And uh, so you can, you, can, you can import all these things. So now there is usually um, citation, citing the articles. So I will import this now. So I just wanted to check. So add entry manually. I, I will have to add all these five articles and only after that I will go to the actual insertion and all. So each one you please keep watching. Uh, so the same article has come. Save. Okay. Save. So I've got four articles. Um, then what else I have? I have Friar. Let me see whether this Friar is there on the net. So that is Friar. Okay. Now here the, the article has come. Now here there is a something called a site, right? So you have to go and click on the site. And then once you go there, you can say download NBIB. So that NBIB has downloaded somewhere here. All right. Now I can use that also to import the article. So add file. Okay. Then I go to downloads, that article is there. So I just click on that, that same thing has come. So Friar has come. So there are three ways. One is by using PMID, one is using DOI, one is using the actual bib text information from the citation. So if the PMID doesn't work, you can go to DOI. If the DOI doesn't work, you will still be able to cite if you get the bib text. So the thing is, once you have this, see the title is there, the authors are there, journal year volume issue page number it also has the abstract here stored 
author keyword so many information is there i mean in the past as dr ramesh said we used to write it down we used to type it and then when you jumble the um, the order of it it becomes a real mess particularly when you have four or five articles so i have imploded uh, sega ritik prayer uh, kelsey blaze morin so that is one more article which i wanted so i'll go uh, so because you have seen everything i'll just see whether i can add it normal to add entry manually then uh, go to devoi uh, then paste the information go for search refresh just check whether the same thing that is the more in okay save so i've got six articles here all right so this six articles now i have to insert so i go to my document so this is the document i have so this is where somewhere see when you write an introduction each important line has to have a citation so you have to remember that you are not copying this line from the article but you read the article understand and then write the line so it is on your own words so when you just take the line from the article that's called plagiarism you are not supposed to do plagiarism even if we quote it as a reference uh, you are not supposed to use the same way the other, other author has ex expressed that thing so you have to read it rewrite it then reference it that is the right way to do it so here in the word you have this home insert page layout references so this is the references is where i want and these particular uh, these things and all will not be there in your computer because you don't have the mendeley plugin because now i have the plugin i have this uh, this particular uh, section of it so there's an insert citation then insert bibliography then the style also is there so the style is for urology so the urology we all we all know that they want it as a superscript so i'm going to insert it here so here uh, i have kept my cursor here then i go to insert citation then the mendeley is open now i remember some names here so i go then then i remember the name sager okay so sager has come so i have inserted it there formatting citation see can you see that it has come as uh, number one i'll close this because you get a bigger view here so this has come as one now in this point i want to insert another two articles so again i go to insert citation then i take retake so retake that is number one um, then uh, i can do one more um, prayer is it what was the name you only when you write the name correctly it will come so if you don't so it's always better to remember those things the other thing is it also goes away so once you start so sager and fryer so like we have read, uh, so we have, we have to insert some articles like we'll i mean we have to remember it that is the only way uh, so who did we insert earlier we inserted uh, number 1 there okay so we'll insert uh, two more blaze and kelsey we'll go in the order only blaze and kelsey so we'll go here then uh, already someone has come, something has come. So here I'm going to insert, uh, insert citation, please. We'll see. So two articles I've inserted, okay. So that now has come as three, four, okay. Now let me see whether I want to insert something else here. Uh, so insert citation. Uh, please try it now i want to insert one of my own article so let me see that uh, so i you know let, let me see whether the that particular article on um, something related to this topic uh, the i have one on tolteridin uh, only thing is so that is a tolteridin tolteridin is a similar drug which is used so that is come as 356 okay so you remember i told you in the lecture that you know if it is 356 it will come like that if it is um one two three four five then it will say that three to six because that's a gap it is like this so here already we have the fourth article so that is why it's like this otherwise it will put three to six okay now what i'm going to do is i am going to go to here references then i say 
insert bibliography can you see see so all the articles have come exactly in the way they want it so sager ritik morid kelsey fryer babu so four six articles have come so this is so easy to do it you got article one here two here uh, and then uh, um, where is three yeah three is here okay three is here now let me say the, the, the two is sager and three is ritik now between two and three i have i forgot to insert something so i want to insert this so i go to insert citation eh? uh, so let me say that this is an article uh, by mohan abraham i want to insert it there so that is inserted there can you see that abraham has now come as three it has come between other articles so you don't have to worry about it when you have 20 articles to play around your piece is changing your sentences before and after it automatically does the job when you write big big papers with the 20 30 articles this is so easy now you send it to urology they refuse your paper you want to resubmit it to pediatric urology so all your citation style is going to be changed your uh, you know uh, everything is going to change so all all i have to do is i have to go there and then change that i have to go to the vancouver step see everything has changed can you see with the click of a button it has become like the um, vancouver step which is what the pediatric urology uses so the articles have become square brackets from uh, this thing and also all the articles have got this now that the link the urology journal didn't want the link but the pediatric urology journal wants the link so it also gives the link of where it is available from so this is in short how the citation manager has uh, made our life so easy uh, we can keep on changing uh, the way we cite we can add articles in between and then we can also um, you know uh, edit the style as well as uh, edit the way we insert it uh, life is so easy with citation manager i recommend all of you to, to use a citation manager it doesn't matter which one I, you use you can use either zotero or endnote or mendeley a few general uh, basic questions uh, what about is mentally a paid software or is it a free one? It's absolutely and what about free software. Zotero? Free software. Free software. And uh, uh, how does it compare with uh, say Zotero and EndNote? Because I I was using. The... Yeah, yeah, I was using EndNote when I was in UK. Uh, EndNote yeah. had some issues like compatibility between computers and uh, this thing. Uh, mentally yeah. is so smooth. Mentally, you can you can see it on the um, cell phone also. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, sir, is there any limit in the number of references we can add in this software? Like, is there any there upper is, limit of references? There is no upper limit. There is no upper limit. For example, for my thesis, I am using 180 references. So it is impossible for me to manually do it. So 180 references I can have in one file and then keep on entering in uh, different places. It will work absolutely fine. No problem at all. Oh, only thing you have to remember is the first author's name. So better that you can note it down somewhere and then keep on remembering that whether you insert or you just enter it entering at the end. You know, as you type the article, you will remember the name. So you and en so enter all the articles, whichever line you are citing, you there. That is the easiest way to remember the names when you have more than forty references. Otherwise. You, you will yourself get entangled with the name of the authors, which you know, yet you remember, like what we did, even for seven authors, uh, we have we are having the confusion which one we entered earlier, which one we entered later. So, you always enter it when you type it. Thanks. The, sometimes the last name will be the same for authors, especially yeah, from, so uh, from China. China. To insert one of my references, I had to scroll down because all of them are there. So we have to scroll down and choose what is important. Um, the other way to remember, uh, I mean, that is way of cheating is among all the four or five authors, one of them will have some unique odd name. Like for example, so one author has got a name called TSO. So I will use it instead of the, uh, the commonest name Kim. If I put Kim, 100, 100 articles come. Whereas if I put it so TSO, only two articles come. So there's nobody with a TSO. So that is the easiest way, but uh, you can still scroll down and read all the names. But only the articles you have imported will come. So the more and more you import articles from this uh, same person like a Kim, uh, you will have, have 
many more articles uh, uh, because Kim is a common surname. Not everything in the um, internet will come. Okay. Uh, next thing is, uh, uh, is about importing articles. You said you have articles. Uh, it, it, it doesn't mean that you access journals or whatever subscription from the institute or from your personal uh, subscription. Will you be able to import even or in, enable? Even on the full text journal, if you have the PMID or DOI information, okay. that, uh, inf that uh, article information okay. is downloaded from the website. So yes, you are not importing only the abstract and the article details. You are okay. not importing the full text. So everything okay. is free, everything is available. So you okay. don't need the full text at all or subscription at all for you know importing your references into Mendeley. Excellent. So basically we need to have other things to access, uh, other tools to access the full text articles. But when you're referring, uh, 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 writing an article, for reference you don't really you don't need it at all. You don't need any excellent. way of accessing the full text. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, okay. Sir, uh, if you want to quote a reference from uh, textbooks uh, and uh, if it's not available online, should we manually enter? Because you have to manually, you have to manually enter. So you have to manually enter. Um, that is possible. Uh, but many of the textbook chapters these days come with the DOI information. Okay. Many textbook okay. chapters, each chapter has got a different DOI. DOI information because DOI is now current standard for every latest textbook. So even the latest textbook chapters are having DOI, but if you don't have, you can manually enter. Also the conference proceedings. So you can, uh, if you want, I will share it once and then uh, show uh, where to enter that uh, DOI, the, 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 my enter details manually. Uh, so when you go to this uh, Mendeley, you have, um, I mean, we were all adding everything by ourselves only. But for example, you have presented something in the conference. You want to add the conference proceedings. So what you what you have to do is you have to um, go to this, uh, you know, add publication, you know, add add entry manually, add entry manually, and then here you have this all the title information, right? Title, the so all those things. So you have to enter the journal, volume, all those things you have to enter one by one. And then when you save it, it will come. For, for example, author's year. Okay. Oh, then oh, conference okay. proceedings also, there is a format. The conference proceedings. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Authors, and then proceedings title, year. Uh, of course, pages means if the abstract is published. If the abstract okay. is not published, you don't have to. You don't have to enter all the details. The first four is important. The title is important. Author is important. Okay. Proceeding which conference, which year. Then pages okay. if it is there. Otherwise, you don't have to. But you have to choose okay. the right thing. So either it's a conference proceeding or book section or a book. Uh, book section means the chapter details will come. So author. Okay. So for example, we have the standard treatment guidelines. We can say that uh, Dr. Vinay Kumar, uh, that uh, Vinay and then uh, the Vinay Kumar and then in standard treatment guidelines. To 20 by uh, whatever publishers, all those things. Okay. Okay. And uh, the again, order of uh, uh, the moment you enter that, that will also be counted as one citation and that will also get automatically adjusted when you change the text or the uh, references, right? Everything will change. But only Excellent. thing is, nowadays, hmm. articles want a, a verifiable reference. So if you keep on entering okay. these textbook chapters without DOA information, <laughs> they don't like it. They want okay. the link. Point accepted. Okay. Yeah. Love. Okay. 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 Thank you. Sir, any websites uh, if, you can, if you want to quote the site? What do you mean by website? Like uh, any article which we have seen uh, in the sense uh, with no proper uh, article as such, but few things which we see on the website. Uh, like that, if you want to quote anything like that, sir. Like Medscape uh, articles. The anything which is a proper journal, any pro okay. proper yes. journal will have a DOA information. Yes, Many sir. of the predatory journals also will not have a DOA information. If they don't have a DOA information, then uh, whatever you enter uh, may not be verifiable. Okay. Okay.
Okay. So we generally know what is uh, Sherry, same, this is the uh, Normani also. Okay. Uh, and uh, the point about it, uh, uh, Vinay was saying today is, this, is it compatible with uh, Mac softwares like uh, a word processor like a Keynote? I cannot uh, 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 pay this. Uh, uh, I am sure it is. I am sure it is. I have not used it. I have used only in Word. Okay. Uh, you already inserted uh, some references, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 kind of a thing. Uh, third reference, you want to insert it again in a different sentence. Yeah, we can do it. No problem. How does, how does that happen? We did it, right? Uh, see, we, we, I actually did it twice by mistake, but it happened. Um, so when we saw this article, you know, see this, this article has got, you are now seeing the, my screen? Are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, we yeah. can. See, for example, one, yes, two, three, then five, six, five, six, five has come again. So can you see five, seven, eight? It will keep coming because the introduction references will again come in the, not in methodology, it will come in the discussion. When you start discussing the article, you will have these things. So, five has come twice here. So, like that, things will keep on coming. But uh, the number is the first number. Which one comes first? So, this came first here. So, that is why it is given the number five. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, Ranjit, sir, uh, Sauji, Gopal Pindali. Just take one. Really. Very, very learning experience. Good learning. Thank you, Ramit Babu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.